Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where I do a little bit of whatever I want today. We're going to play some more Final Fantasy X-2. We're on the, um, I guess this will be kind of episode three and four that we're going to do. And y'all, we're a cat girl today, you guys. Uh, thank you so much to Kitty for this beautiful, cute costume that we're going to use today. Hello, Koneko. I see you with the first. I see you with the first. We've also got some tea that as soon as Alexa goes off, I'll, uh, I'll get the tea bag out. Um, this was from a set of tea from Lunar yesterday. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance. Wait, I gotta do it like the get the gift. I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Dance, 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 and yeah, like that. <laughs> cat. I'm a, and you gotta ding. I'm a kitty cat. And I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Oh, Alexa, stop. Thank you. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, this tea is called Berry Blend, I think, or Berry Burst. It smelled amazing. It smells amazing. Put this the bag in the garbage. Drip, drip, drip. Don't make a mess. There we go. How are you doing today, Koneko? Are you having a, an awesome day? I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome Sunday. Sunday fun day. There we go. This is my my thing for if I have if it's loose leaf, I can put it in there. But I still put it in when it's a bag tea. I don't know why. It's just for fun, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is delicious. That is delicious. All right, you guys. So we like to start all of our artistic license episodes with a little personality quiz. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a really super fun one today. I'm doing well. Just ordered a new laptop. Hold one still fine. I just need a backup for work in case the old one kicks the bucket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so like you don't all of a sudden have to go shopping and wait for a new laptop to come in. I know your pain. I know what you mean. Well, I'm so glad you're able to do that. That's so cool. That's so cool. What did you get? Eminem, hello. Hello, you're here for the personality quiz time. Here we go. This is what we're doing today. We're doing which Studio Ghibli himbo are you? We're going to find out. Okay, here we go. You guys can see. Um, so yeah, quite honestly, it's difficult to find a male Ghibli protagonist who isn't somewhere on the himbo spectrum. True, because Ghibli knows what women want. They want himbos. Okay. Oh gosh, this question is long. All right, here we go. Um, Eminem, how are you? How are you doing this weekend? I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. Uh, I have embarked on a quest. Oh, you have embarked on a quest of your own making. It's been a long and arduous journey, and you have walked many miles to get to where you are now. You're proud of yourself, and pride is enough to stave the wariness from dragging you into the earth. Your choices have led you here. Which path will you take? A path of worn stones that leads towards cliffs and beyond that, the sea. You're the seabirds calling to each other, wheeling high in the sky. You lick your lips and taste the sea salt. The ocean is calling and you can feel deep yearning in your bones. It's probably the ocean one. You got Acer, way too powerful for just work. You got an Acer, but it's way too powerful for just work. But that's because it needs to be a backup too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a, um, I think mine is Acer as well. It's like tough, T-U-F-F brand. Um, and that's what I do, what I game on for like my personal games. You know, the games that are just for me that I don't stream. And it works great. I love it. Um, trail off the beaten path. One leads it towards the jaws of an ancient forest. No, I already know. A jagged set of stairs directly carved into rocks and mountains. Exhilarating thrill that almost stops your breath as you look up. No. Um, a road that's been trod by many weary travelers. One that leads to the depths of an ancient city in the process of crumbling to dust and ruins. But despite the lingering death of the city, life blooms with in and people make beautiful things. There are markets filled with craftsmen's walls lined with pots of greenery. The sort of city that could be a friend to a traveler like you. I don't know. Let's look at the last one. A grassy path that leads to a marvelous machine with wings of a dragonfly. They glimmer iridescent, bright with the potential to carry you into the open embrace of the clouds above. You know how to fly. It's only a question of getting into the air and your heart is racing. Okay, we're going with the ocean one. I'm on a seven hour bus ride home. Holy crap, that's a long ride. That's a long ride. Well, I hope we can we can keep things entertaining and uh, and chill for you while you ride home. Um, were you were you on something cool yesterday or like this morning or like what was it? What were you doing? Choosing a competent lady to adore. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ellie Slater, Jurassic Park. Oh, the mommy lady. Yes. Charlotte Lucas from Pride and Prejudice. Ridley Scott, Alien. Oh, oh they're making this hard. Gertrude Robinson from the Mang uh, Magnus. <gasps> Nani from Lilo and Stitch. What? Princess Leia from Star Wars. Asami Sato from Legend of Korra. Elizabeth Swan from Pirates of the Caribbean. Bra Beatrice from Much Ado. Oh, my God. Why is this so hard? Why? Okay, wait, wait. But I love Lilo and Stitch. Have to go with Nani. I have to. I have to. 
What flavor is your respect woman juice? Ride or die black currant. <laughs> sort of nice chill lemonade, fresh orange juice, warming apple and cinnamon, sweet comforting peach, matcha tea. Although it's my own blend, the flavor is a little different every time. So I can't guarantee the taste. Oh, I like that one. Bad decisions, pineapple. <laughs> Whiskey, neat. Protective strawberry or posh red wine, matcha tea. You don't know what you're going to get with me. That's true. What do we think about that BBC Dracula babes didn't see it? Or is the didn't see it? I did not watch that. Sorry. Didn't watch it. I'm sure it was fab. Didn't watch it. Oh, I don't really have much of an opinion on a hetero vampire. Oh, it's hetero? Why? Anyways, didn't see it. What popular show do people keep telling you to watch? And it admittedly does seem like something you'd be into, but you're not, not super on your priority list at the moment. So it's languishing somewhere on the Netflix watch list. How to Get Away with Murder, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Game of Thrones, Killing Eve, Bojack Horseman, American Horror Story, Picking Bad. Hey, if someone recommends something to me, I'll watch it. That Tiger King docuseries, every someone could, I guess this was made during the Tiger King time, <laughs> but it just got popular now. Um, anyway, I'm going to put Game of Thrones, but I've seen Game of Thrones, but it's because of House of Dragon. I know I would like it, but I don't know. I'm just not motivated for some reason. I think I'm so burned by old Game of Thrones. I put in a football match with the boys. Oh, nice. Did you guys win? Did you guys win? Uh, which himbo anthem speaks to you? Sometimes I spot a little stranger standing across the room. My brain takes a vacation just to give my heart more room. Don't take this the wrong way. You knew who I was every step I, that I ran into you. Only blue or black days, electing strange perfections in a stranger I choose. No, oh, zero, zero. Oh, but you didn't lose. Zero, zero, you didn't lose. This Chris List, List rum tongue tugger from Cats is a himbo, and I couldn't agree more. True, he is. Parafrose and hands to hold. Oh, she's so Southern... Sh so she feels the cold. The moment I was tearing off your blouse, now you're living in my house. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. Okay, I'm like, these are so long, and I'm not like vibing with any of these. You don't have to be, oh, wait, you don't have to be rich to be my girl. You don't have to be cool to rule my world. Ain't no particular sign am I compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. That's a good song. That's a good ass song. I, I approve. I approve. I can dim the lights and sing you songs full of sad things. We can do the tango just for two. I can serenade and gently play your heartstrings. Be your, be your Valentino. Oh, that's a good song, too. I saw an angel of that. I'm sure she smiled at me on the subway. Oh, I like this song, too. This is a sad song. Um, I also knew half the song lyrics. I'm impressed with myself. Yeah. So, OK, I like at the bottom. I'm like knowing them. Do I attract you? Do I repulse you with my queasy smile? Am I too dirty? Am I too flirty? Do you like what you like? I love the way she fills her clothes. She looks just like them girls in Vogue. I love the way she plays it cool. I think she's beautiful. Okay, wait. We have to go with the Prince song. This one. Yes. Okay, pick a himbo. Any himbo. Captain Kirk. Thor. <laughs> any of the Marvel movies, particularly Ragnarok. Oh, good. Jason from The Good Place. George 8 from George of the Jungle. Rick O'Conley from The Mummy. Boromir. James Marston. Oh, good choice. Captain Jack Harkness. Oh, Captain Jack Harkness. Yes, Rum Tum Tugger. There he is. Or Bingley. We had to go with Jack Harkness. My boy. My boy. Love him. Got my result. I have no idea who this is, but it feels accurate. Who'd you get? Okay, last question. You've acquired a companion during your lengthy travels who has decided to travel with you on your quest to be a better to better understand yourselves. I voted Boromir. Good choice. Good choice. Good taste. It's good taste, Koneko. A small calico cat with eyes like jewels. She talks, but sparingly, and she's hilarious when she does. You think she might have been cursed into this shape, but she doesn't seem to mind it. She's an excellent travel companion. I already like this first answer. A strange lumbering creature made entirely of rocks powered by curious glowing crystal. The heck no, sorry. A tall, thin shadow that haunts your steps. While at first it seems quite terrifying in how it stares at you with hungry glowing eyes, it turns out it's quite friendly and is only a little socially awkward. Oh, I love this one. It makes a remarkably good mug of coffee. Don't ask where the coffee comes from. Don't worry, I won't. Won't. Fujimoto from Ponyo. Oh, you got the Ponyo boy. You're an anxious mess, but who isn't? Honestly, who has their shit together in this economy? You have your own sense of style that really sets you apart from the rest, and you really should own it more often. You are a heart of gold, beautiful person who cares fiercely about those who are important to you. That's true for him. Perhaps this comes off as a little stifling at times, but you always want what's best for everyone. I agree with that for you, Koneko. I agree with that. Did I ever tell you? I was. I, everyone loved Ponyo. I thought it was mid, honestly, for a Ghibli movie. I thought it was mid. Um, good character for you though, for sure. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen Ponyo, it's good, but it's like, it's not that good uh, compared to other Ghibli movies. 
Um, a tiny soft creature that resembles a dormouse with dragonfly wings. Oh my God, I'm, I'm at this one. It spends most of its journey asleep in your pocket, but then wakes up and glows with blinding gold light, filling you with determination and power to onward. Yeah, this is what I need. An enchanted sword that sings when you're in combat? No. It's a good place to start. Oh yeah, yeah. If you've not seen a lot of Ghibli movies, Ponyo is a great place to start. Um, the best Ghibli movies, in my personal opinion, are Princess Mononoke, um, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind, which is kind of a predecessor to Princess Mononoke. Honestly, it feels like a first draft of Princess Mononoke, but both very, very good. And then Spirited Away, trifecta of excellent Ghibli movies. And then secondarily, um, like on a second tier of just like not like amazing Ghibli movies, but like perfect for Karen, um, Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I got him too. I got him too. Fujimoto. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Uh, he's good. He tries to protect his daughter really hard. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tries to protect her really hard. I, I do understand why I got this. Most people get Porco Rosso. Fuck yeah. Better a pig than a fascist. Haku. Love Haku. Um, Varen Humbert von Gieken. Um, I haven't... I, the cat, Cat's Return. Whisper of the Heart and Cat's Return. I've, I only saw this once and it was so long ago. Um, Tom Bloco, Yep. Kiki's, Kiki's Boy. Tatsuo. Yes. Howl. Not very many people get Howl. Pazu from Lapta, okay. Ashtaka from Mononoke, and Prince Aaron from Tales of I've never seen Tales of Earthsea, actually, so I don't know that one. Good quiz. I liked this one. I like this one a lot. It was good. Okay. It's time. It's time. It's time for some Final Fantasy. Okay. Let me get it to where you guys can see and hear the game. Da -da 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 -da. Turn my controller on. Resume. Okay, it's the volume looks good for you guys. It's really loud in my ear though, so I'm gonna turn it down in Windows. There we go. It doesn't look like that changed it for y'all. Okay, I think we're good. All right, so last time we went around to lots of places. We're still in chapter one. We're gonna go to lots more places this time. We're gonna start off by going to Mushroom Rock Road and see what the heck is going on with the Youth League. Where is it? Uh, it, I went right past it. Went right past it. There was chaos at the match. Away fans threw bangles and bangers at our family stand. What's a bangle? Bangers are sausage, right? What's a bangle? All right. What? It's those two. Again. Hmm. Maybe there's a sphere here. It's our turn to do the following. That's right, Yuna. You follow now. Good to see you again, Lady Yuna. You haven't forgotten me, have you? It starts. They all ask. They all ask. It's Yaibel. Yaibel, isn't it? You're in the Youth League. Ha! You really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. You should be. Since that day we first spoke, the Youth League has been conducting a sphere hunt of its own. We, the Youth League? Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search <clears throat> for ruins and spheres. Oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? Yeah, we're ready. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. Okay, before we do that, there's a couple things that I need to set up in my equipment. So let's go to the garment grids. Like flares. Oh, does that mean like bangles are like the the light up 
fireworks and like bangers are like the popping fireworks. That's not what I was imagining. That actually is kind of terrible. I'm sorry they were crazy like that. That's ridiculous. Okay, so we need to put Psychic on here. Um, I'm going to put it here. I think, no. Let's put it, let's put it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay. Um, and then let's equip our girls. So Yuna is, and she's going to switch from warrior. She's going to get a couple of the psychic abilities. I want her to get confuse and teleport at least. Um, Riku's going to stay on thief. Yes. Okay. Um, and then where I want pain to finish out the passives and getting the trigger happy level three. So let's take a look at this. Okay. So I want her to get confuse and teleport. I need to look up what the prereqs for those are, because they're not here. Okay. I know, I think if I go to the fandom wiki, it'll tell me the different prereqs. And it's under psionics. Oh no, for teleport, oh, it's right here. For teleport, she needs to get express. Okay, so we can have her learn express. The confuse ability she needs to get oh, there's ads that keep like getting in my way okay for mm -mm -mm -mm. no that's not it oh brainstorm is it so she needs to get telekinesis for that and she needs to get master okay so actually she needs just Master Eye and then Telekinesis will pop up here and Express. So let's go ahead and get her Master Eye. Yeah, so she's got to get those um, to get the abilities that I want her to get. Those will, because those will be really useful. Okay. Oh, I wanted to check where Riku is on her abilities. What are you learning right now? Oh, you're learning Borrowed Time. Okay, that's cool. You can do that. Um, you're learning Sleep Proof. Oh, you're almost done. You're almost done. And then we can switch you to Black Mage. That'll be very fun. Okay. All right, so we got our ability set up. Let's go look at our equipment. Let's see. Psychic. Oh, I need to organize these. Um, let's go to accessories and sort them. All right, you know we've got silver bracer and muscle belt. I think that's what I want on her. What other options do I have? Okay, we've got a circuit circlet for magic and magic defense. Okay, and that's what people are wearing. Alright, let's look at you. Darkness. Okay, we really don't need the yellow ring. We can do batter. Let's do let's put the circlet on her. Because we're not really gonna use the yellow ring. Okay, she's got a iron bangle and a tiara. I think that's good for that's good for now okay now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run over here because there is actually a treasure chest there's a treasure chest I mean that's crazy you know I've heard all kinds of things about like you know over in Europe how crazy people get in regards to soccer um I mean we have a lot of crazies in regards to our football American football but it's quite it's quite different you wouldn't see as much of that a few teams is a thousand gil right here a few teams may be kind of like that but like their fans have terrible reputations it is definitely not the norm but my impression from hearing you guys talk about these these things uh is kind of normal <laughs> like it's kind of normal for them to behave that way and uh it's a little bit shocking to me honestly it's a little bit shocking like we think people taking um american football that seriously are like weirdos okay you got to make sure before you actually walk through there that you talk to Clasco again mm -hmm. You seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Alright, that's Clasco's you know, dream. All I want is to Alright, now we can proceed. Mission time! 
All right, we got to kill fiends, basically. That's the mission. Kill fiends, make it there. Why is this considered a mission? I don't really know. You're really just walking down the, the road. Soccer people are the worst. Even the tame ones are nuisances, aka way too fucking loud at 10 in the evening when the matches are on TV. That's very late to be that loud. Um, I mean, we are like that on the Super Bowl, right? And on certain bowl games, um, depending on where you live. Like, for example, in Alabama, we would be like that for the Iron Bowl, you know, um, Alabama-Auburn game. But this, this is not typical, you know what I mean? It's not typical. Ooh, sleep proof, yay. I think that was all she needed. Oh, yeah. But the impression I get of soccer people is like they act like it's the Super Bowl every single match. <laughs> like craziness, just craziness. All right, let's look at, I think that was the last, that was all pain needed to finish out what I wanted her to for Gunner. Okay, yeah, so now we've got access to the trigger happy all the way up to level three. So we want to equip her with Black Mage. Oh, we gotta change the change it on the thing. Okay. There we go. Alright, Pain is gonna be Black Mage now. Yeah, I think. Now let's have her learn focus first. We should learn that fast. Okay, so Pain is going to be our black mage. Very exciting for her. Treasure chest. Turbo ether. There's a few treasure chests down here. They are very difficult to see. So let's see if I can get them. There's three of them. There's another. Phoenix down. Okay. We haven't missed one yet. The next one is supposed to be a high potion. Ah, oh, there it is. Because it gets dark. That's just, like why it's so hard to see. Okay, so we can water this red elemental. Oh, I should have iced it. That's right, it's fire versus ice in this game. Time to ice him. Goodbye. It's all in the wrist. If you say so, Riku. If you say so. Ice to meet you. Hi, Potion. Okay, that's all the ones down in the ravine. I feel like when I was playing this before, I missed a lot of treasure chests down in this area because of especially like in in these chapters and it gets so dark okay we're actually gonna do fire on the bully cap because i know that he's weak to fire and he's they're annoying as fuck so i want to kill him fast Burn. yeah he gone now Everybody Wait, gone. Fun. Goodbye. An empty win. An empty win? Why? That was a good win. We got a level up. Okay, let's save. New save data. Yes, this is save data for this time. This one ain't no good. Nor this one. What are you doing? <gasps> let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. Was that a teleport bullet? Hey, it was a teleport something. bullet. Finders keepers. Crimson Sphere 9. Oh. Glowy. Hey. Long time no see. Remember me? 
I remember you. Of course I do. Glad to hear it. You're Asaru's brother. I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a Sphere Hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a Sphere Hunter now, too. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice to him if you see him. I'm How's always nice to Pase. The Youth League discovered this place. Oh, no answer. It's called the Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru? Isaru? But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... I'm afraid this place is off-limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. I don't like this. I don't like it. Why won't you this answer me about Isaru? Limits. Please leave. Suspicious. Okay. I guess we'll continue on. Alright, so that was a little detour there. That was a little detour. Let's go ahead and save. We got to keep going. Until we reach the end of the Mushroom Rock Road. I feel like it's super sus that he acts like that. Like, how mad are you? At your bro. That you would not even talk about him. Also, I think that scene is more accurate to Yuna's character than a lot of the other scenes, in the, especially in the first couple of chapters of this game. Um, Yuna is not a pushover. She just asked three times to a question who was obviously uncomfortable to answer. Would a pushover do that? No, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. Burn. So sometimes this game knows Yuna, sometimes it doesn't. Focus. You gotta fuck us. Put the right emphasis on the right syllable. Uh, okay. We need to go look at Pain's abilities. MP absorb. Okay, we can do that. She's definitely gonna need more MP, like, all the time. All the time, all the time. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Oh, she might. Oh, I didn't need a psychic bomb. I could have just done an attack. That's okay, though. Oh, this tea is so Too good. Easy. Good herbal tea. Oh, no, we're going this direction. It's so hard to see. I'm blind. I'm blind, you guys. What's happening? So once we get these skills for Yuna, we'll switch her back to Warrior, I think. Psychic is OP. Is the only class, because of that teleport ability, that can actually move around the move around the um the playing field. Like, all the other classes, they're just- the location is just where they are. You can't do anything about it if they get in a poor location. My eyeball watering? <laughs> okay, here we go. You forgot about the time stop ability? Time stop is also really fucking cool, that's true. Hello, Blue. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful Sunday. 
Oversoul. Okay, let's take out... No, let's do it like this, yeah. Because she can do, just do two psychic bombs to those guys. On my way to a family trip? What? That sounds so much fun! Where are you going? Everybody's doing trips this weekend. Eminem also was on the way home from a football game. Soccer game. I'm already at my locale. Oh, you are away on a family trip. Oh, okay, okay. I read that wrong. Where are you at? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I'm just curious. You can say secret. Secret if you don't want to reveal your location. But I hope it's some more fun. Secret. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. What do... No. Do we want... Black magic level 2 or do I want the fire... It's only 40 points. Let's just do black magic level two. I'll upgrade all of her spells. And then we'll go back and get the the ah spells. Get up there, Yuna. Climb, climb, climb. Last family trip I took was um, to Disney. We went to Epcot over Christmas. It was super fun. Got to have cookies around the world and other Christmas goodies around the world. Holiday, it was Holiday Kitchen was what they called it. It was really fun. Get those doggies. They should all die in one bomb. Yeah, that'll do it. Bum, bum, bum. I love the combat in this game. It's so fun. It's so fast. Like, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, combat. No bully cap this time. Ooh, yay! Riku got a got an ability. Oh, Riku. Oh, for, okay, she can stay on that. There's so many of the thief abilities that cost so much. I swear, it takes forever to get her to finish thief. Oh, no. Fire on the bully cap. You think thief... I know there's others that are more. I know there's others, but in the early game, it's like a lot for how, for how early in the game you are at the point. Oh, I know. I know. Alchemist is very heavy on that. And I put Riku on Alchemist, too. I could get used to this. I got ninety nine potions. Not anymore. Up the elevator. We're almost at the end. All right, here we go. We reached it. Oh, wow. Lady Yuna. It's me, Elma. It's been so long. Wow, you've really changed. How are you? Elma's the realist. Never better. Now that I'm in the Youth League, I've always got something to do. 
Never being like, hey, do you remember you really me? Passed all the fiends. Nice work. She's so polite. Come on, step aside. Right, right away, Captain. Captain. <sighs> wow, look at you. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Mission complete. Heart of Flame Garment Grid. Now, before we go up, there's a chest over here. Oh, it's so hard to see. Open it. There we go. Favorite outfit that prevents itchy. Okay. Then we just go up the lift, right? Yeah. Oh, the Youth League and their child labor. would only repeat its past mistakes. Their leader is a former crusader named Nuge. Apparently he earned quite a reputation among the crusaders. All right, now before we go over there, oh, not back. There is this little area down here where we can get a chest if I can walk down there. There we go. Restless sleep garment grid. Get up. Oh. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. Now we can go into Youth League headquarters and talk to some peoples. We have to talk to Lucille over here twice. She's this lady right here. It's been too long, Lady Yuna. I am Lucille, commander of the Youth League forces. Thanks for not making it's me guess. Good to see you. Hiya! I am glad to find you well. As you can see, I have joined the Youth League to aid in the fight for a new Spira. I consider it my duty. Maven Nuge, our leader, has been hoping for an audience with my lady for some time. Unfortunately, he is planning a mission of great import and will be occupied well into the night. Mm. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask that you return another day. Oh, it's no trouble. My apologies. The Youth League's looking for spheres, too, right? Yes, knowledge of the past is the key to the future, so says the Maven. It is with these words in mind that we seek the spheres of yore. The mission we are planning also revolves around a sphere, but... I am sorry, I had best say no more. It is not a matter to be discussed openly. Oh, secret no, sphere. I suppose not. My apologies. All right, so you got to talk to her again. These kids are in the way. Get out the way. Sure do seem there we to go. Be a lot of weirdos around here. Wow, Riku, just come out and say it. Is a motley bunch. Some members certainly have a uh, questionable pasts. Just the other day, a very valuable sphere was stolen almost as soon as we discovered it. The Thief League? <laughs> no, no. Few here would go that far. Most of us are very devoted. We work hard with Maven Nuge towards our goal of building a new Spira. But the Maven insists that none be turned away, and so the occasional bad seed does slip through. Unfortunately. But I can think of nothing more heartening than were the Lady Yuna to join our cause. That would do the League much good. Okay. After you talk to her twice, she I'm should say, sorry. Yeah, I'm very sorry, and then you know you're done. So, the other thing we have to do here is talk to this guy and you can't touch your controller really when you talk to her i believe it's been fully two years this calls for a celebration hey kiddos you'd like to hear a story okay so we're gonna hear his story and we're not gonna touch we're gonna put the controller down when we hear the story so by all means These past two years we're just gonna drink our tea been truly tumultuous with sin defeated and the Evans' terrible deception exposed for all to see. Yes, we love a good lore dump. It is safe to say Spira was in a state of upheaval. 
But it is precisely times such as these that often inspire the greatest good. For you see, out of the chaos arose a desire to forge Spira anew. And from this noble desire was born a search for truth, championed by people called the Seekers. The Seekers sought out and attempted to set right Spira's history, long concealed and warped by the temples. They looked for lessons in that history, lessons to lead Spira into a new age. No. The Seekers scoured Spira for ancient spheres hidden in nooks and crannies over the ages. They studied the images recorded in those spheres, for they hoped to find within clues to the true nature of Spira's past. Over time, the search for spheres grew quite popular. Some even pursued it as a profession. They, of course, are the Sphere Hunters, the good, the bad, and the ugly. To be sure, the majority are interested only in the excitement and adventure of it all. But it is doubtful they comprehend the gravity of the search for truth. Very doubtful. Um, doubtful? Doubtful indeed. <laughs> Where was I? The founder of the Seekers was a man by the name of Tremor. Before the fall of Sin, Tremor had been a priest in the orders of the Yevon. With the Seekers, he had the perfect means of revitalizing Spira, or so one would have thought. But then, just one short year ago, Tremor founded yet another organization, the New Yevon Party. It was all quite sudden. He took the many spheres collected by the Seekers and hoarded them all to himself. Hoarding's bad, Tremor. This angered those who had hoped to use the spheres as a key to unlock Spira's past. What awoke in Tremor's heart that drove him to do this, none can say, say Tremor himself. I should very much like to ask him. But sadly, he had vanished. New Yevon would not release its fears. Yet, surprisingly, a great number of people rallied to its cause. Their motto was, one thing at a time. It worked to great effect. It played on people's fears of the rapid changes sweeping over Spira. It gave them something to cling to. But there were others who still harbored ill will toward the name of Yevon. And the man who united them? It was none other than Nuge, the maven, that is, leader of the Youth League. Nuge was a member of the Crusaders. He is a powerful man, once renowned for his fearlessness in battle. His interest in history led him to devote himself to the Seeker's cause. With them, he worked to collect spheres, but in the end, New Yevon would share them with no one. That's rude. Repulsed by what New Yevon had done, Nuge gathered like-minded people and formed the Youth League. Drawing its support mainly from Spira's younger generation, League soon matched New Yevon in size. As the organization grew, so did the responsibilities of its leader. I came here hoping to speak with Maven Nuge, but he is busy in meetings, and I was turned away at the door. Yes, too, us too. Pity. Looking at all the young people gathered here to take part in the League's endeavors, I must say... I'm quite envious. So much energy, so much time. While I, on the other hand, have grown weary with the passing of many years. I travel Spira, gathering knowledge, only to have it slip my mind a moment later. And just between you and me, I don't even remember how old I am. Wow. Oh, might I ask you one small favor? What is it? 
Like and he's just in your face <laughs> after that big it zoom out. Not too much trouble to touch just once the hand that defeated sin and saved all spirit. Uh, of course, yes, I'll shake your hand, dude. Thank you. Now this old scholar can go in peace. No problem, Machen. Don't say that. Your hand. Is something wrong? No, no, it is nothing. Lady Yuna, you have my thanks. Okay. Um... Me catch up on the chat from that cutscene. Ten two isn't as strong of a narrative, but good for world building. Yes, and really the problems I have with the narrative aren't that much. It's just a couple of scenes where I think Yuna's characterization is all wrong. Um, I mean it's not as good as ten, but there's nothing explicitly wrong with it except for that. Looks like Final Fantasy sixteen took this game's approach to storytelling, where side quests reveal more about the plot than just playing straight through it. Oh, that's interesting. I've not played sixteen yet. I've not played sixteen yet, so I only know what I've seen in reviews and things. I haven't played it myself. Okay, so after that, you can board the airship, but the, we, we have to come back. We have to come back. So we're not done. So this is just kind of a shortcut. Board the airship, and then we're going to go back to Mushroom Rock Road again, so we're at the beginning. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to talk to Clasco right here. That's it. Every time I try something new, I screw it up. I just don't know what I want to do with my life. I don't know where I belong. I've spent my whole life drifting from one failure to the next. But I can't keep doing this forever. I know that there's a place for everyone in this world, even someone as sad and pathetic as me. Lasco, you're not pathetic. Lady Yuna, I want to find my place. Please allow me to ride on your airship. Uh, sure. Oh, thank you so much. I'll find my true calling. You'll see. All right, Clasco. You can come hang out with us. Then we can get back on the airship. So that's how you can run back to the beginning if you want to, but it's like super not necessary. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And um, we're going to watch that sphere we picked up down in the ravine. Stop shaking.
Hello? My microphone died. Oh, no. Okay. Let me show that again. My microphone decided to die while I was explaining the tool. Yeah, it's good now. Okay, so this is the tool. So what I was saying is 17%, that's what we want. And it'll show you all the things, even what's crossed off. It went fuzzy a bit and then died mid, mid explanation. Bummer. <sighs> My poor microphone. You can't touch the, the cord at all or it freaks out. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I even tried buying it a new cord at one point and that didn't really help. I think it's like the, the, the little piece where the cord connects into the microphone is like not very tight. It's kind of loose. So it likes to, likes to die a lot. Okay. So the next stop that we're gonna take is to the moon flow. Spear's landscape really hasn't changed much since then. If anything's changed, people seem to smile more often now. It's as if they finally have time to notice the beauty around them. Hey, this is nice out here. What? People out enjoying nature. It's very peaceful. Sure is. A lot of people are traveling these days, trying to learn more about Spira. Thanks to you, Yuna. I had nothing to do with it. Go on, give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> All right, so after you watch that opening scene, then what we have to do is come over here and talk to this guy. On this spot, I'll be sponsoring an extraordinary show. Do, do come. Oh, and I'm Toby. Yep, yep, it will be splendid indeed. Mark my words, people here and there and merriment everywhere. Hey, that sounds like fun. Okay, well, we'll see you then. Wait, 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 wait. I have a favor to ask of you. Let's go. <laughs> um, okay. After all, we're spear hunters. Right now. Yeah, they should do favors. Oh, let's hear him out. Yeah, you should. <sighs> what if there's a sphere in it? <laughs> oh, here's the thing, you see. My able assistant hasn't come back. From Luca, of course. Where else? He went to fetch some supplies, which are vitally, crucially important uh, for the show, you see. Go check on him, right? Oh, quite, quite. Why ask us? Because you are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters hunt spheres. That's right. Uh, A sphere. That settles it. Right, right. It's yours if you return my assistant safely back to safety. I'm thinking he must be over in the general vicinity of Jose Temple. Oh, and he's I Pello. Okay. So Jose Temple is back this way. So basically, we have to run back this way. And we're gonna fight some monsters along the way. If you go from Jose up here and see the high pillow first, then you miss those scenes. So if you're going trying to get as much percentage as possible, then you don't want to do that. You wanna go to moon flow first and then go down. Oh, I already stole. Why did I press that again? Silly. Yeah, nothing to steal. Duh, I know. Shouldn't have pressed that. Boom, boom. There we go. He got too much HP, that man. He should stop. Chocobo. Can't do anything with that yet, unfortunately. They should always just run away at this stage. Oh my gosh, I just did it again, didn't I? Yes, I did. Because so I've got it on the memory, but I want it on the memory. But then I gotta remember to actually change it to attack. Gotcha. Goodbye. Takers keepers. That's right, Riku, takers keepers.
Yeah, Yuna, get him. Oh, got both of them. I didn't. I thought the Quadricorn had more HP than that, but I guess not. I love the music in these teams too, Alarith. How are you doing, by the way? Are you having an amazing, awesome, beautiful Sunday? We are here. Smoking's back for you. It is so easy to just totally zone out on the combat in this game. Like, it's so awesome. Nice Sunday. All chores nearly done and it's only noon. Fuck yeah. I love that feeling. I love that feeling. That's the best. I do a lot of chores on Saturday morning before stream. And if I can finish them all before stream, it's like extra happy. You know, it's awesome. It's so nice. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh. Trouble. Don't worry. I'm here. You're Tobley's assistant? Yes. Are you friends of Have a good dinner, Koneko. You sure are. You just sit back and let the goings escort you back to Tobley. Thank you. Mission time. So we can't let any of the suitcases get stolen. We have to protect them all. And they walk just slightly slower than you do. Oh no, bandit. Get him, Yuna, get him. Psychic bomb. Korede, sayonara. Sayonara. Smoking's bad for you. Goodbye. Time to act. Boom. Boom, boom, and we shake the room. Don't worry, Tobley, I got it. Oh, I guess I gotta walk around you this way. Come on, Shabokobo. Let's go. Let's Chigoka go. Oh no, bandit. Hi there. Hello, bandits. I think she like almost kills both of them. Ooh, telekinesis, good. Bye bandits. Shouldn't have tried to steal. And then you'd still be alive. You know, but we all make choices. This is definitely, you know, an appropriate punishment for the crime at hand. Still got five chests. Death over petty theft? Yes, exactly. That's um, how things should be. Don't you agree? Uh, the world should operate this way. Another one comes up from behind on that screen. We're gonna have to check after we beat this one. It's all in the wrist. 
Oh, not focus. Yeah. What is it, Queen? What you don't think you don't think I have the right idea about the bandits? Oh yeah, black magic level two, nice. You think I'm maybe being too harsh? Really? I don't think so. I think I'm being pretty reasonable. Personally. Bring it! She sure getting into this. She's trying. Burn. Nice work. There should at least be a trial. <laughs> should there though? Should there really? I'm pretty sure like Yuna's judgment's pretty good. She did save the world one time and that definitely should qualify her. Um, you know, to be judge, jury, and executioner. That's uh, how the world should work. That's how the world works. That is how the world works. Did we do it? We did it. Yay! Oh, you've returned. Thanks to these ladies. Mm-hmm. I'm awesome. Yep, yep. Of course, you've been most helpful. With this, the show is just a step away from smashing success. Here, as promised. Gun Mage Dress Sphere. Oh, and take this with you two for everything you've done. And here's bonus prizes. Circlet, Helios Guard Garment Grid for having the all five suitcases. It's such a good fuzzy feeling meeting reliable people, persons such as yourselves. <laughs> yes, sirree. You're very welcome. Just remember, it was the gull wings that helped you out. What is she, Jennifer Walters? That's right, Blue. You understand. <clears throat> okay, I am not going to use the Gun Mage Dress Sphere in this particular playthrough. I just don't think that... Uh, I just don't want to do all that. Um, okay, there's the confusion one. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> okay, she's fine. What is this? Black Mage. Oh, she's starting. Okay, let's go back to these these ones and then maybe we can do Black Mage level three and then the August spells. Blue Bullet is good, but we're not gonna bother with it. All right. Now, um, what we what we have, let's see. Now, what I think I wanna do. Cause there's four there's four people we can talk to for promotional here. But one of them is all the way back where we just were. So I think what we want to do is come around over here, at least for Mighty Guard. Yeah, I mean, Mighty Guard's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I don't disagree. So this kid right here, let's do his. So he can be number five on publicity. Let's also save. And then there's the kid beside the stairs right here. So he can be publicity five. And then on the other side of the shoe puff area. Rides. Yes. Let me own, let me own. Let me own the shoe puff. Ride the shoe puff. Okay, and then there's one over here. It's this lady. And you can do publicity and matchmaking with her. So for publicity, she's number five. And then for matchmaking, she is number four. Okay. And then there's the there's one more. So we're gonna ride the shoe puff back. Right. And this is gonna be the easiest way. I think this is gonna be the easiest way. We're gonna ride the shoe puff back first, and we're gonna go to the save sphere. And then we're gonna go to Jose. And then run from Jose. I think that's easier. I feel like that's easier.
What is it, Queen? Really? Are you having a good Sunday? You'd have a better Sunday if I would pet you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Give me some pets. There you go, Queen. Love you. Love you, Queen. Don't worry. You're still the best kitty. And there she is. It's this lady right here. So yeah, that was way easier. So for publicity, you do the third one for her. And then for matchmaking, you do the first one. And then we can go back. And after all of that, we should be at 17.6% after doing the Moonflow stuff. So let's get back on the Celsius and we will check and make sure that that's true. Oh no, we can save right, let's save right here. Save right here. Okay, so this should be 17.6. Let me check my tool. Yes, we are at 17.6, fantastic, okay. Next, let's go to the Thunder Plains. As far as percentage points go, all you need is this opening scene. <laughs> Guess what? Riku finally overcame her fear of thunder. Good job, Riku. Know how? She said she camped out here for a week. <laughs> all right, that's all you really have to do for percentage, but we are gonna walk um, down the Thunder Plains. Because there's some chests here, and I think it's a really good opportunity to level up our abilities. So if we go back this way, there's this chest. This is Echo Screens. I got a good feeling about this one. Me too. Oh, she might. It isn't as bad as how one of the characters in Fate Zero got over their fear of bugs. Was it similar? Did they like... <laughs> did they like just go hang out with bugs for a week? Sometimes exposure therapy works. No it kind of depends on what you're scared of and why you're scared of it. But sometimes exposure therapy is a good idea. It just really depends. Okay, yeah, no, that's right. I want to check. Did I put them? Yeah, okay, I put them all in the right things. Surely, I don't know anything about Fate Zero, so I don't know it. I don't know this. The real reason isn't so PGO. <laughs> oh, okay, I understand. <laughs> now, I don't know anything about Fate Zero. It's like, uh, not something I have, uh, looked into. I know it's very popular. You could use a bath. And it's kind of like historical fiction, right? It's like a like all these his historical characters like come back in some way or like they're summoned back or something. It's a weird weird anime thing, so I know it's like something weird like that. Okay, this next chest is somewhere over here on the right side. There it is. And some potions. It's an acquired taste, I see. I mean, most anime is. I've seen some pretty weird anime maze. I watched it twice. I'm on a roll. Chibokabo. Hold your breath. Down you go. Too easy. I think I liked it less on second viewing. Oh. <laughs> That's not very good. Something um, should be better or different on the second viewing, not worse. If it's worse on the second viewing, that makes me think that it's not actually very good. You know what I mean? That it's only good in its um, surprise. 
so hated it the first time. Jeez. It's very popular though, right? A lot of people like it, I thought. Don't hold out on me. No trust us, it's good. Oh. Oh, well, you know, sometimes people are wrong. But I've never seen it, so I don't know. Maybe it is good, actually. And I would be siding with your friends. I don't know. But I can watch most things and find something I like about them, you know? Most things, like, there's there's something uh, like that I can find the enjoyment with. Some element. Even if it's not generally well-liked or good. I understand it has some gimmicks to it. Yeah, I mean a lot of um a lot of anime has like gimmicks to it and stuff. That's kinda like part of the part of it part of what makes it like a genre um in a way, because it's kind of a genre, kind of a medium, you know. A black choker. That's an accessory that you can get right there. I watched three entire series. <laughs> I went out of my way to attempt watch more of that franchise. Oh, it's got a ton of it's got a ton of uh, of seasons, series, different ones, right? Like there's like there's Fate Zero and there's like Fate Stay Night and there's like you know blah blah blah. It's like got all the different names like anime likes to do. I suffered. I didn't like it. <laughs> well, we all have one, right? We all have one. Everyone. Oh, it's acting up again. Don't die, microphone. Don't die, microphone. Stay alive. Maybe I just need to get a new mic. Don't hold out on me. You could use a bath. Yeah, take a bath, Drake. Hold your breath. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. Check, check. Okay, hopefully that helped. Like in usually one for Shonen, but this franchise... <laughs> and it isn't like, oh, you're just hating because it's popular or whatever. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I tell you one thing that um that I hate that was very popular. Everyone loved Encanto. I thought it was bad. I thought it was really bad. I also I'm a Frozen hater too, so like I mean I get it. I get it. I drink the hater aid sometimes. I knew nothing about the series when I started watching it. Ugh, I don't know how to fix it. Let me try to unplug it from the other end. All right, let's see if that did anything. Does it still sound weird? Does it still sound weird? All right, there's three chests on the other side too. Encanto is not good. True, and Frozen should not have won an Oscar. True, Klaus should have. Also true, hello beans, how's it going? Historical heroes duking it out in a tournament setting, which sounds sick as fuck. Yeah, okay, that, so I had the premise right. I had the premise right. Okay, so this chest is a phoenix down. How have you been, Beans? It's been a while. I've been good not on Twitch much anymore, I understand. A lot of people really aren't aren't uh, even watching as much Twitch anymore now that everyone's kind of like over the pandemic, you know what I mean? So like, I've heard a lot of people with that sort of thing, you know? It's just kind of different. It's just kind of, you know, different now. It's not as needed. There's other things to do.
All right, the other chest is over here to the right somewhere. I'm gonna try to spot it. Leave it to me. We're talking about fate. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Beans, can I tell you why Encanto is terrible? And you tell me if this is the same reason you think Encanto is terrible. Um, I think that the main character is, is, is nothing. She's pants. Like, literally, okay. Maribel is the black sheep of the family. But you never ever see, like, why she's the black sheep. She never acts out in a way that black sheeps and, uh, and, you know, victims of, like, the type of familial abuse that she went through do. Like, to where, like, she doesn't do the things that cause the abusers to be able to, like, get people to agree with them that, like, they are, like, the bad black sheep. It's literally just, like, she has no magic and so they, like, it doesn't make any sense. And she just acts perfectly cool and good and, like, makes the right decisions all the time. Which is not what someone in that situation would do. Like, it's just not. And because she's pants, she's boring, nothing ever happens. Like, it's just, she's just such a bad main character. She's just such a bad main character. And I don't understand why Disney keeps doing this with their main characters, because the, the thing is, Elsa the same way. Elsa's the same way. She Elsa always makes the right decision. Why is she the main character? Why does everybody not love Anna? Anna's a way better character. Way better character. I don't understand. It's like for the same reason. Like, why is the main character so perfect in these latest popular Disney movies? Like, it, it, I don't like it. It's boring. It's dumb. Like, you know who's a good main character? You know who's a good main Disney character? Grenades in, in this one, by the way. Ariel. Ariel. She's great, okay? This dumb bitch, like, she thinks that she's gonna go to the human world because her dad doesn't like her special human interest and gets into all kinds of freaking trouble because she's dumb. Okay, but it's great. But it's great that she's dumb because morally she is right. Her parents or her dad should have supported her special hobby. They should have, but they didn't, which caused her to go be dumb because 16 year olds are dumb. Okay, but like it's real. It, it's real. Like that's how somebody in that situation would actually act. So Ariel, amazing character. Anna, amazing character because they're dumb. Elsa, not good character. Okay, Maribel, not good character. They're too smart. They're too perfect. They they act like they act like forty year olds going through this instead of like teenagers going through this. It's dumb. Fate Stay Night. I agree. Hated the series. Never seen it. Never seen it. Anna's way better. True, Alarith. I can't stand Ariel. I think it's because she's sixteen and thinks she's an adult and like sit down, girl. You're a child. As a kid, I, yeah. But that's but that's real. Like all sixteen year olds behave this way. All sixteen year olds. You know, and especially 16 year olds that are told your hobby is stupid. You shouldn't you shouldn't do that. I'm going to break all your shit. You know, I mean, did you ever know like when I was growing up? OK, when I was growing up, there was a lot of parents because um, this was the deep south, right? A lot of parents that like would say their kids were not allowed to like Pokemon or like Harry Potter or whatever. I even had a neighbor whose mom at one point uh, burned all of their magic cards. They had like multiple shoe boxes full of magic cards. Boy, had black lotuses in there like the heck she burned them all. Okay, she burned them all. And like, what? Did it make him stop liking those things? Absolutely the fuck not. He just had to be secretive about it. You know what I mean? So like Ariel's reactions is a lot more interesting and realistic. Elsa's reactions, not. Elsa knows her powers are dangerous, so she she goes and isolates herself. That is what, that is a, a, a mature decision. <laughs> I understand why she did that, and it's perfectly logical. Not in an interesting character-motivated way, like in a in a logical, like, I am on the outside looking in at this story, right, type of way. Here's the last chest in this area, and there's an ether. And so then the next stop is gonna be Makalania. So instead of like going back to the airship or anything, we're just gonna go straight over to Makalania. We're just gonna walk this way. As a kid, I loved Ariel because Ariel is amazing. She's a great character. Haven't seen the new one. I'm waiting for it to come out on uh, Disney Plus streaming. Haven't seen the remake. I assume the remake is is bad in the same way that a lot of the Disney remakes are bad, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch it. Like, I'm gonna watch it. It's on my watch list. I'm just waiting for it to come out on the Disney Plus. Yeah. I didn't like, the previews looked bad. The previews looked bad, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. 
It's all in the wrist. Is my mic sounding better or is it still sounding weird, by the way? Did they change Ursula's song? I assume so. I mean, I assume they changed lots of things, but I don't really know. I know they changed some of the more, um, uh, uh, lack of consenty <laughs> lines and kiss the girl, but I haven't heard it yet to know if it's, if I find it annoying or if I like the changes. Mike sounds fine. Okay, cool. Get him, girls. Get this oversold bitch. There we go. Guess I'm getting sloppy. You're not getting sloppy. He was just oversold. I got 99 potions. Uh, okay. You need an ether. Abilities. Let's check them out. Okay, yes, we want to do that. I guess there's really no reason to check Riku's because she's just learning all the thief ones. Okay, yeah, and we've got the awe spells that we're doing. All right, let's proceed. It's been two years since the faith in Makalania Temple disappeared. They say it's affecting not only the lake, but the woods as well. Okay, so after the Thunder Plains, I should be at 17.8. In Makalania, there's a couple of things that we need to do. So we're going to proceed through here. The woods will soon be no more. Okay. I'm so sorry. The wood's going to be no more. Let's see if we can do something about that. All right. So here's our save point. Let's save. All right. So then there is a couple of guado that you can do the publicity with. This one is one of them. And you can do the first one. And then if we come here, we're going to exit twice until we reach the cross junction. So one, two... And then we're going to go north. And there's another guado here that you can do publicity with. And you do the fourth one on him. And then if we come down here, we should see Donga, I think. Yeah, there's Donga. Let's talk to him. Uh, the end has come faster than I thought. <laughs> what can we do? I'll be there in two seconds. Okay. So that's where Donga is. Now we have to find the third one, um, Pukutok. So for this one, basically we have to go back and we're going to walk through the woods and she will eventually be there. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while, but she will eventually be there. Um, she's like just in the middle of the path, so you cannot miss her. So we are going to just run through the woods and hopefully I don't accidentally get turned around and start going backwards like what has happened before to me and Makalania. They removed the body language line. Oh, okay. Um, oh, let's steal. Come on, guys, remove the gesture and not the line. I'd have to see it. I'd have to see it if I to know if I feel that way. It is really iconic. But you know the old movie's always there. That's the other thing. Like I just, I just don't know if I like agree with these remakes, with just the concept of doing these remakes in general. It feels very unnecessary. It feels very unnecessary because there's nothing wrong with the old movies. Like a couple of the old Disney movies have aged poorly, but most of them have not. So I just don't see the point. 
I think they removed the part about people on land not liking a girl who talks. Oh, that makes sense. I just think, I just wish they would make movies in the same style as the old Disney ones where they were very like extravagant Broadway, you know, really complicated characters um, with these like good songs, but with modern sensibilities, you know what I mean? Instead of like remaking their old movies and trying to give the old movies modern sensibilities. And I guess that is kind of like sort of what they're doing with like movies like Encanto, but like, but they're not. Like, there's mo it's not good. The characters are not good in those. So I don't know. I don't know what I want Disney to do. I just know I don't like like the vast majority of what they're doing right now. I just want it to be like the 90s and 2000s again, you guys. When I was a kid and things were better because I was younger and didn't know anything about anything. It showed Ariel in the new Burn. film that some guys might not look at her at all. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, and that makes sense. Don't I don't know. Gotcha. You know what's a, an older Disney movie that, see, that to me feels like it has modern sensibilities and could be made now? Lilo and Stitch. Okay, Nani was in the, the, the thing, so we got to mention Lilo and Stitch, but like, I just, I love that movie. And I feel like it, like, sensibility-wise, like, it slots so into the modern world so well. So I just really like it. Okay, so here's a chest. I think this is the only one in the woods. And, um, yeah, you get a white ring. Lilo and Stitch isn't that old, is it? It, it, it I saw it when I was in high school, girl. I saw it when I was in high school. <laughs> it's not, it's not, it's old, yes. <laughs> I see, I think that's the only chest with the white ring. Yeah. Takers keepers. And then you got that DreamWorks parody, yeah. I mean, DreamWorks has kind of fallen off too, you know what I'm saying? When was the, what was the, I think the last animated movie I saw that I, well, no, there's been two. Two animated movies that I saw. I'm wondering if it was, one isn't really animated. Anyways, the last truly animated movie that I saw that I thought was really, really good was Mitchell vs. the Machines. Excellent. Loved the characters, loved the plot. It was funny. It was cute. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, and then the Chippendale movie, the Chippendale Rescue Rangers movie, like it was kind of like Roger rabbit -y, part animated, part not excellent movie and disney just did not promote it but it was so good if you have not seen that and you have disney plus you've got to go watch it it's so good isn't lilo and stitch the next live action remake yes i have heard that they're doing live action remake and there's casting and blah blah, blah and i just want to throw up in my mouth lilo and stitch is already perfect and there's nothing there's nothing in there that's like sensibility wise outdated to where a new version would be preferable to modern audiences the old version is fine. Like there's nothing, there's no like body language, nothing. There's nothing in it that would, that a, a modern audience wouldn't vibe with. Then they say they might cancel it due to the strikes. Good. I hope they do. <clears throat> I hope they do. The last Puss in Boots, Boots film was good. Okay. So I never watched the first Puss in Boots film, but I did watch the second one because I heard it was good. And I have to tell you guys, it was overhyped for me. It was fine. There was nothing wrong with it explicitly, but narrative-wise, it was completely unstructured. There was too many characters. And, like, it was just kind of all over the place in a way that was not very satisfying for me. So, like, it wasn't bad. And maybe I, and I didn't see the first Puss in Boots movie. I didn't see it. So there's maybe some context missing for me. But it was overhyped. Truly, it was overhyped, and there was multiple different animation styles within the movie for different characters, and I didn't understand that. Like, why does only the wolf get the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse animation style? Why? I don't understand. Anyway, here's our third guy. Let's talk to him. Oh me, oh my, what did you say? Don't move an inch. I'm on my way. These woods grow lonely day by day.
Wow. Okay. So while we're complaining, lots of bad things going on in, in these woods right here. The wolf set apart from those with different style of unintentional plot reasons. Yes, true. That's true. I just found that it was more contrived than impactful for me. So I'm not going to spoil why, because it's not a bad movie and a lot of people liked it. And it's, and I legitimately see why, unlike Encanto, where I don't see why. <laughs> so I won't spoil it for you guys if you want to see it. Um, yes, there are reasons that, that the animation style for the wolf is different. I just did not find those that compelling. I found it jarring and awkward looking instead of like interesting. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just becoming crotchety and I don't like modern movies. I am going to go see the Barbie movie tomorrow though. And I'm very excited. So I will tell you guys next week, uh, if it was as excellent as I think it's going to be. I think I'm going to really you like it. I hope so. I'm trying my best to not like not look at reviews and stuff too much. Um, but I was told yesterday that the reviews are good for it. So that gives me a lot, a lot of hope that I'm going to like it. So I'm actually going to the theaters. I'm going to theaters for the first time in years. Last time I was at the theaters was like pre-COVID. So it's been a really long time, but I'm so excited. I'm going to get a big ass popcorn. I'm going to get some junior mints. I'm going to get like, um, a gigantic drink. I don't know what drink I want yet, but I'm going to get a gigantic one. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. All right, I think I'm still going the right way. Okay, so after you encounter um, Pukatok, you just come around over here to the very end of the woods. Yeah, yeah, okay, I did go the right way. And then you're gonna come up here and we're gonna go down this way. And here's a bunch of Guado. And we have to talk to one of them. We have to talk to Trommel right over here. So here's Trommel, he was not in Guado Salam, you remember, here he is. Oh, hi, Samana Yuna. Forgive me for the grief I have caused you. How have you been? Well, with Lord Seymour gone, we Guado are hardly different from the dead. Huh. All right, so you have to talk to him four times, so that was one. So here's number two. Many Ronso lost their lives at the hands of Lord Seymour. That's true. They're Those very angry about who that. Those survived swore vengeance for their fallen comrades. We Guado sealed ourselves away in Guado Salam and strengthened our defenses. But soon we no longer had the strength for even this. Now we live among the shadows of these woods. Trammel? Oh, okay, number three. Yeah, I, I guess it's just going to be like that today. I don't know. I'll reboot after stream and kind of look into it. Okay, number three. Hi, Samana. Do not trouble yourself to show sympathy for the Guado. We once walked willingly with Lord Seymour, never questioning, even as he led all Spira into madness. Lady Yuna... I cannot ask that you forgive us, only that you forget us. Trauma. I feel like Trauma's talking about himself there. I don't believe all the Guado just followed him blindly. I think Trauma feels guilty about following him blindly, but there's no way that all the Guado felt the same. Okay, time number four. Ah, oh, well, what brings the High Summoner to these woods? Well, I'm a sphere hunter now. Hmm. A sphere hunter? We, uh, hunt spheres. You don't say. Well then, uh, please allow me to give you this. It is of no use to us. Score! Thank you! A full throttle pain special dress sphere. And an erring path garment grid so that we can use it better. So I'm not going to use the special dress spheres in this playthrough, but this is the first one you can get. This pains. <clears throat> All right, now we have to go back. There's another friend we need to visit in Makalania. And he is up here. Run! 
Kanekra. Oaka, can't we drana? Lusawin, na kiktela ek videma. Albed Primer. Hey, there's Oaka. Hey. To Oaka, Fiver, and pretend you never saw him. Um, okay. Now you have to chase him. Awaka the 23rd! Where are you? Okay, so you gotta follow him, and the easiest way is to take the iridescent road right here. Yeah, we're not gonna see Oppenheimer, just the Barbie movie, but... Um, I do want to see Oppenheimer at some point. I love Cillia Murphy, so I'd like to see it. But we're not going to do the whole double feature thing. AMC apparently having some weird split-screen theater room for it. Oh, that's strange. So he's down there. Awaka, what are you doing? Don't hold out on me. All right, let's fight these guys. I realized I just forgot a chest. There was one by the agency. We have to go back to get it after we're done chasing Awaka. Boom. I love the psychic bomb. It's so cool. Yeah, I don't even remember for the theater near me what the brand is. I don't even remember anymore. Don't hold out on me. I couldn't spend all the time in a theater chair, right? That's kind of how I feel. Like, I don't know if I could do all that. Even though the recliners are not that comfy. Yeah, I'm seeing Oppenheimer next week and already dreading the runtime. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe for Oppenheimer, I would prefer to watch it at home, you know? Lazara! It's just nicer to watch movies at home most of the time, you know? So, like, we're gonna go see this one for a special occasion, but I just don't see myself coming, becoming a person who sees movies in the theaters a lot again, even though I used to do that quite a lot. Can't be longer than two hours. It's a Nolan movie, dude. I'm pretty sure it's like three hours. Nolan movies are good on the big screen, though. True. Turbo Ether. So you get a Turbo Ether there, and we'll have to go back. I'll have to show you all the other chests after we catch Awaka. It's back by the agency. Three hours. I knew it. Oh, no, 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 not you, not you, not you, not you. Um, hello. Hi. Don't worry, we're leaving. Goodbye. See you never again. Yeah, so you'd end up being in the theater for a minimum of five hours if you're seeing both of those movies. I know a lot of people are. I know a lot of people are. All right, and he is right over here. <laughs> it looks like you finally caught up with me. I walk out at your service. I bought the travel agency from Mr. Rin. But then, the temple nearby sank to the bottom of the lake. And business sank with it. Just my luck. Oh, that sucks, so Now the Albed have come to collect and are not in the mood for excuses. Think ye could give old Awaka a place to lay low? Hmm? For a while? I'll find a way to make it up to ye, I promise. What do you think? Sounds like he's in trouble. Uh, yeah. Let's get it. let him hide on the airship. People are 
not gonna see? I'm pretty sure people are gonna see Oppenheimer. I don't know why she said that. And you get Ice Queen Garment Grid. Yay, okay. So that's your reward for that. So let me go back and pick up that chest. The easiest way is gonna be just to walk along the iridescent road. The only reason we even went through the, the woods itself earlier um, was because um, Pukutok was there and we had to talk to her. But you could even walk on the iridescent road and then kind of like backtrack if you didn't want to fight too many monsters. But I felt like it was good to fight that many um, to get some level ups and skills and things. It's made less than Barbie so far. Well, that doesn't surprise me because everyone's seen a bunch of Nolan movies, but Barbie's like a fresh new new thing. And uh, and they had like a really super memeified campaign, um, which was awesome and drew people in. But it's still doing well, I think. Yeah, that's what I assumed. I read about it yesterday. I think it's on the way to breaking records for a Christopher, Christopher Nolan movie. That doesn't surprise me. It looked like um, one of the better uh, Christopher Nolan movies. Oh, not this way. I meant to go to the agency. Go back. Okay, let's go up to the agency. Okay, so if you come around over here, there's a chest right here that I should have picked up before I started following Oaka, but I didn't. And it's a high potion. The biggest flex was Sonic outperforming Morpheus. <laughs> well, that was just silly. That was just silly. Okay, we want to do a blizzard on the red elemental. Blue, I can't. You can. You can. Go, you can stop saying it. I can't fix it. I can't fix it. Beans, is it really acting up that much? Like, how is your experience? Express. I haven't noticed anything. Okay, Blue, my friend. I think it is you. I. I. And I don't think I can do anything about this, anyways. All right, let's go look at our abilities. Teleport. I'm mic sensitive. I think you might be hearing vocal fry in my voice, honestly, because <laughs> whenever a lot of times when you're saying it, like I don't I, I think it's when I have more vocal fry going on in what I just said. OK, so that's all good. What was I actually checking? Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to look at Yuna's abilities. Okay, teleport. So teleport's the other ability that I wanted her to get, and then we will switch her back to warrior. Yeah, if it fully mutes, definitely say something in case I don't notice. But I don't, I just don't think I can fix it right now. I know that the jack um, on the mic, where the plug, where the cord is, is messed up. Because I've switched out the cord and it didn't help that it falls out all the time. So I think I just have to buy a new mic at some point. But I'm lazy and microphones are expensive. So I keep thinking like, it'll be okay. I'll just keep putting it, putting the cord back in. It'll be okay. All right, now we need to save. And we should be at, let's see. Oh wait, no, there's one other thing we have to do on the airship. So on the airship, we have to actually go talk to Owaka, just like we had to go talk to Clasco. And he is right here. Hello, Awaka. Welcome to Awakas. Okay, and you can see he has all this debt that he needs to pay back to the Albeds, and if you shop with him, it will help with his debt. But we're not going to do that right now. <sighs> I know, Awaka, it sucks. There we go. Okay. So we should be right at 20%. So I'm just going to go check. Check it. Yes, we are at 20% right now. All right. 
So I am going to go ahead then, and um, we are going to stop the recording. We're going to say goodbye to YouTube. For, so for y'all watching the VOD on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe below, down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.